What's up guys? So I'm going to try to make a repair video to help you guys with some uh, PS2 problems. Um, it's probably going to be next to impossible to be doing this uh, clearly with one hand and the kind of camera I'm using. I don't really have a way to station this. But I'm going to do my best to explain some common problems and uh, try to work with you guys the best I can on how to uh, get your PS2 running. Whether it's, whether it's just it reads certain discs or no discs or you hear like a really bad grinding noise um, all those problems are easily fixable um, with a little bit of advice so this is going to be my attempt uh, to help you guys out so the first thing you want to do is you want to open up your Xbox um, your Xbox you want to open up your PS2 on the bottom of it um, there's some screws that are covered by square plates little square squ plastic things so you want to go ahead and pop all those off and unscrew it um, be careful when you remove the top um, because some of the PS2s have a ribbon cable attached, so you would want to, you know, be very careful when you open it. Don't detach them completely. Just pop one to the side um, and lay it down next to it, uh, so the ribbon cable doesn't break off. Uh, all right. So once you do that, you're gonna have a, a plate on it like this. It's probably gonna be this way, like that. There's gonna be some screws on the side here, little screws. You're gonna need some sort of fine uh, screwdriver to get that off and then you just take that off and then you're gonna get to the uh, to the laser um, before you even can see the laser you, at this point you're gonna wanna plug this thing in and uh, eject it so the eject tray is out of the system and then pull the power out and leave it out until you're done now the first thing you're gonna wanna do is, is laser out um, so in order to get the laser out either you're gonna have a plate like this which has two clips here and here that you're going to want to pop this way uh, and that thing will come off and then that will loosen up this bar here or you'll have a screw right here that you can just simply unscrew and that will loosen this up now if you hear a grinding now th this PS2 is having a grinding noise so for example when the laser moves up and down you hear that? that's what you hear and the reason for this is because of this little plastic piece right here there's teeth under this that wear out so you're gonna wanna um, bend this down a little bit in order to apply pressure to catch on to this um, again now this isn't gonna this isn't gonna permanently fix the problem but uh, it will fix the problem for a good amount of time uh, get you some more use out of it until at least you can find this piece um, so that's the problem in this that's this one actually has both problems it, it grinds and it doesn't read CDs. So once you get this thing off, or you unscrew the screw right there, then this whole thing comes loose like this. Now there's going to be a ribbon cable here that you're going to want to detach. So simply just pull this up slowly, okay? And you'll see the ribbon cable attached to right here. Now there's going to be two little clips here and here that you're going to want to pop down very slightly pop it down and pop it down don't attach this and this the ribbon cable will come loose once the ribbon cable comes loose your laser is completely out so that's exactly what you want to do get your laser out of the PS2 now the two things you're gonna to want to do to the laser um, well it depends on your problem if you're having the grinding problem like me you're gonna to want to bend this piece down ever so slightly so let's just go ahead and do that So you're just going to take it and bend it down a little bit, like so. Just a little bit, but you got to bend it. So now that it's bent, we can put it back in and test to see if it catches. So you're going to want to catch it on the left hand side first onto the bar, like so. And then simply put it back where you got it like that and just by holding the bar down because it's gonna wanna come up but once the plates there it'll hold it just bring it up and down and see if it see how it doesn't make the noise anymore so well it makes the noise a little bit but that just might mean that it needs to be bent a little bit more so let me just go ahead and do that
give me one second. Okay. So now it's nice and tight. It's catching perfectly. So now you can go ahead and uh, put that plate back on if that's the only problem you're having. And close it back up. And uh, you're good as far as the grinding noise goes. Now if you have a where it's not reading discs, what you're going to want to do is take this plastic take this plastic top off right here. Um it's just it just clips it just snaps on. That's all it is. Um so once you take the tops off, hold, let me put the camera down so I can do this. Try to get it on camera the best I can, but Bear with me. Some of these are a real pain in the ass to get off, but uh, they all come off. You don't want to break it, but even if you do break it, it's it's not going to prevent the thing from working. Okay. So there's the plastic thing, it's off. Now, this is the laser right here. You're going to want to take some rubbing alcohol. Make sure it's at least 70% 70, 70 isopropyl, iso, whatever. You know, if you have 100%, uh, that's better, but at least 70%. I usually like to put it in, um, in the cap or whatever. At least pick a side that use a Q-tip that's clean. All right, so you're gonna wanna, you know, get it nice and clean. You're going to want to just simply uh, scrub the top of this. Now, don't be scared, you know, to apply some pressure. Um, you know, some people say, you know, go so, so soft. You know, I've fixed dozens of these, man, and, you know, I'm not scared to apply no pressure. So, I don't know. Just go with your instincts, but, you know, as long as you get it clean, you're good. Now, it, just because you don't see any on the Q-tip does not mean anything, you know, because we're talking about microscopic dust, dust here, so... You're not going to see it, but you're definitely doing a difference. This isn't all you have to do. I'm going to lose you, so I want to definitely get through the next step, because the next step is crucial. Without touching the laser, you could grab it by the sides, and you could lift it up, like, like so. Okay, now under the laser, there's a little hole that has another lens. That lens, you're going to have to clean as well. That's the lens that tends to get very dirty. So you're going to want to lift this up, get your Q-tip inside under that all the way in there and you're going to want to angle it down let me just see if I could do it within the next 30 seconds hold on one second like this you're going to want to get it in there like that and you're going to want to twist it and clean inside there with the q-tip that's where the main problem is you're going to want to get up in there with, with some q-tip and some alcohol clean it reassemble and you'll be f great to go. Thanks for watching.